Hello crafters and welcome to Peter P Crafts Online brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. Now I'm your host, creative director at From Picture to Page, which is our mixed media, paper crafts, card making, scrapbooking and paper crafting community. Now Peter P Craft Online is bringing you over 30 demonstrations from our talented retailers and some very special guest artists. So for all the details, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see the full day program, see any of the sessions you may have missed out on and then get all the links to our retailers, to their specials and to their online stores so we can continue to support them. Now while you're there, make sure you sign up to our email list because we will let you know as soon as all of our special offers are available, we'll let you know when we get events started again and of course we will let you know as the replays go up over the following weeks so you can go back and watch your favourites again. Now also we must say a special thank you to our sponsors. So we've got Uniquely Creative who are passionate about making beautiful stamps, kits and embellishments. And with their Creative Kit Club, they provide everything that you need to do wonderful creations every month. And also thank you to Darkroom Doors who have a unique range of red rubber stamps and stencils. And they do pride themselves on supporting independent retailers and continue to inspire crafters through Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Now whether you're watching here live on Facebook or you're watching a replay on Facebook or YouTube, we want to know that you're there. So pop in the comments and say hi, just like Libby has and Jenny and Debbie. It's exciting. Oh, and Faye's back again as well. It's great to see you all there. And it really is a wonderful way to connect with our crafting community. So that's great to continue to share that. So today, Peter P. Craft is online with a paper experience. Welcome, Kerry. Hi, Michelle. How are you? We're well. It's so lovely to have you join us on this Sunday of the show. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Now, could you tell us a little bit about Paper Experience? A Paper Experience is uh, my love child, I suppose, or <laughs> part, of, part of our family. <laughs> and uh, we just love paper and we want to share it with everyone. But, of course, we love bling and ribbons and all the embellishments and it's so wonderful that you can get so many dyes and embossing folders and so much more uh, than than you ever could once before. So uh, we're in seventh heaven in, <laughs> in our crafting. Oh, that's true. And I do think our, our businesses do become like our little babies or our fur babies, don't they? That's right. Absolutely. Excellent. <laughs> and they even take over the house. Mm -hmm. They certainly do. They certainly do. So what have you got to share with us today, Kerry? Today we're doing these very cute um, mini cards, and I know you can't see them very well yet, but as we move along, you'll be able to see them. Um, often at this time of the year, I find that people just want, well, as we head towards Christmas, I guess we're a little early yet, but still obviously thinking about it, um, they just want a quick card that they can put together and, and get off. Mm -hmm. often, often they're doing a, a little gift, and they just want one that they can write something a bit more than to and from in <laughs> as well, but not a whole big card. Mm. So we're looking at sticker cards today, uh, holographic sticker cards with mini cards. Excellent. That sounds like lots of fun. Well, let's jump into it. Okay. 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 The screen is yours. Oops. Hang on. Oops. Hang on. Okay, we're ready to go. So welcome to a paper experience. As I said, we're going to make these holographic bauble sticker cards today. And the materials are mini cards, holographic stickers, sentiment stickers, and some permanent markers. So over now to my partner in crime, Jean, who's going to show us the card. So we're folding a little uh, mini card that you'll find in your kit. You need to have a look at whether you want a flip up or uh, flip up card, flip out or flip up card. And that will determine where you want to place your sticker. So we've got um, in our kits some acetate stickers that we had made and they are very sticky. So you do need two hands to put them down because once they're down, they're down. So then we're going to move on to our holographic baubles and they're a bit hard to be able to see those i know but uh where you take them off the sticker sheet there you can see them quite well 
So you put, put your little sticker down towards the bottom of the card because you still need enough space for your ribbon and your little hanger. So one way to deal with our stickers is making them very colourful. So you use permanent markers to colour in the dots. You do it on the sticker sheet because that way you can be as messy and go outside the lines as you want. And then we're going to move them over. But use lots of colours because we want them to be bright and cheering. So then you use your craft knife to flip them up and, yep, oops, they can flip off. But if you place your finger on the top, that'll help stop pinging them off. So a good trick is to make sure that the sticker sheet is stays oriented to the same direction as where your uh, sticker is on the card because then you can easily see which dot goes in which space. But you don't have to fill up all the dots. Um, I find that leaving some space looks really nice. So then you need your holographic line. In our kit, there are four different colours and you can choose whichever one you like. And by using this line, you place it in the middle of your bauble up towards the top of your card to create a hanger. So you trim off any excess and pop it back on your sticker sheet because you'll be able to use it for the next one. We don't like waste. So then you're going to need a small bow. And if you're anything like me, yes, I did learn the old-fashioned way to create a bow, but I love this bow maker. You can make, it's a great gadget. You can make so many bows. Yep, all the one size from one to a thousand. But it does have different uh, holes in it and different, to make different sizes. So you can make different widths and different lengths. So then you just trim off your tails and you want a little glue dot. Yes, it's very small, so we love these weenie glue dots. They're the really smallest ones. So remember, you put your embellishment on your dot. You don't try and take the dot off the, off the sticker sheet because it just goes wherever it feels like. So bow on the dot, not dot on the bow. And there you're done. So it's a really quick card. These are the different shapes that you get on your sticker sheet, and there's one fabulous wreath as well as the three different sorts of baubles. But you don't just have to use a small card. You can create a big one, and here's some examples. So thanks for joining us. Uh, I'd like to give a little shout out to the original idea coming from Linda Orley of Bondex, one of our wonderful suppliers uh, from Queensland, and um, also again to Jean. So thanks for joining us and hope you enjoyed that little card. Back to you, Michelle. Excellent. Oh, well, thanks, <laughs> Harry. Oops. Stop okay, sharing. there we go. <laughs> so are you ready to show your um your other sheets now? Yes. Okay. So I'll switch windows mm -hmm. and share my screen, hopefully. Sorry about that. No, there we go. Okay. So in our kit, as I said, these are all the different sorts of baubles that you get on a sticker sheet. It is really difficult to be able to uh, photograph those holographic stickers, but uh, hopefully that gave you an idea. So you get everything in the kit that will allow you to make the cards. And um, again, we have our usual 25% off for picture to page and a $25 uh, card. If you want something a bit different or a bit more modern, uh, we also have different stickers. This is our curly Christmas tree, and the kit for it 
uh, allows you to buy, uh, buy make 10 A5 sized cards and instead of colouring in your dots, your bling, uh, you use bling. So you have a sheet of ombre, poppy, poppy crafts ombre bling in that one. One of the other um, show specials that we have is the Nelly Snell and layered combi dies. These are amazing. They're really beautiful uh, background dies and you get three in a set and they layer together to make a really outstanding background. So hopefully you can see that. So the three different layers, I've used three different colours there in that background. And then on this card, I cut it out in a bauble shape and then cut the bauble surround on it. So we also have those for 25% off. We also have, if you've got uh, kids in particular, this is our mini envelope card. It's a wonderful card. It uses washi tape, uh, like holly hoppers, hoppers <laughs> to create the background. And we've done all the hard work for you. So we've cut everything out and you just have to put it together. And our final bundle, uh, just to show you something different, are uh, Cosmic Shim Shimmer Opal Pastes. And these are amazing because when you use them from one, one bowl, uh, one pot, on white, when you use it on white, it's one colour. When you use it on black, it's another colour. So these cards have been produced from one pot of Opal Shimmer. So the blue background is black card. The green tree is on white card for example, and we have a whole range of different colours to be able to uh, create some wonderful cards. So that's it. I'll stop sharing and come back to you. Excellent. Um, um, um. So I'm furious today, but sometimes <laughs> you want a quick card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so you do, you have a lot of card kits for sale. Correct and bundles as well. So uh, I know that sometimes people don't want to have to think about matching everything up together and working it all out themselves. So we've created kits that will give you everything that you need to be able to make your cards or bundles, which are um, sets that are matched together, but you can do your own creative um, creations with those. Yeah, excellent. And what a great idea to use markers to colour in the holographic stickers. I know. Isn't that a brilliant idea? Earlier in the year, we did have a uh, kit which was uh, holographic butterflies and all the dots were different coloured sheets of stickers. So that was a bit tricky, but, a, <laughs> but lots of fun if you got creative. But the markers make it really easy. So it's really kid friendly as well because it's, it's uh, so easy. Yeah, and you can still have the same image but then use colours in different places. Absolutely. And uh, if you're mono and you like all one colour, you can do that. Or if you're a bit like me or a bit like us, uh, just go for it. <laughs> Lots of different colours in the kit and they're all very, very vibrant. Yeah, and I like your suggestion that you don't have to use all the baubles either. You could actually leave some blank space. Yeah, the dots. Yeah, that's right. So... Um, you can get as creative as you like. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, here you've been running some online classes lately. That's right. We uh, had to go to Zoom, obviously. We're in Melbourne, so uh, we're still in stage four lockdown, which is pretty drastic. <laughs> but um, instead of, um, you know, getting together, we get together by Zoom. And it's, a wonderful, it's wonderful that uh, we have this ability because... Uh, a lot of people are missing out and uh, we don't like to miss out either. No. We yeah. like to see all our regulars, so it's been great. Yeah, and how often are you running the classes? We have them once a month, uh, one weekend a month on a Saturday or a Sunday, uh, usually for an hour or so. Mm -hmm. Generally, um, 
you need to buy your kit before the class right. so that we're, you're ready to go. And then we go through the class, that uh, mm -hmm. the instructions that are included in the kit. But yeah. sometimes it's good to see how things are done. Oh, excellent. So each month you've got a, a plan, you have the kit, and then you have the class which helps put it together. Excellent. Correct. Yeah. That's great. And, and then, then you can go for it. <laughs> yeah, and that's a great way for beginners to get started, and especially, like we said, in Melbourne or if you're, you're not travelling as much, you know, that's a chance to get the kit, have a look through it, and then when you jump into the class, you're ready to go. That's right. Excellent. Absolutely. So what are some of the classes we might be, can expect to come up soon? Um, well, we've probably only got one or two left for the rest of the year. It depends on whether we uh, get let, let out of stage four as to whether we can actually have our open day in uh, December that we usually do. But, um, yeah, I'm still working on a couple of things and I haven't quite decided on the next one yet, but I was getting inspired for, world, given it was World Card Making Day this week, mm -hmm. and so the first Christmas card uh, that I've made let me see if I've got it up up the right way. It is this one. Oh, that is just oh, beautiful. So this is a star card that yep. pulls out and pops out. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've been trying to challenge myself a little with uh, moving cards, mm -hmm. as you can see. And this one is an explosion card. Oh, I haven't seen exploding cards for ages. I know. Oh, Isn't and some pretty stickers in there as so, well. Um, so we'll see what I come up with um, and uh, it'll, it might be one of those, but they are a little tricky. So we've been challenging ourselves. But on our um, Facebook page, we did a twirling card as well, which I don't have with me today, but you can see it on the video on, um, on our Facebook page. Oh, excellent. Now, Lisa and um, Christine were just asking whereabouts you are in Melbourne. I'm in Caulfield. Mm -hmm. So just near the corner of Glen Huntley and Kuyong Roads. Okay. And they just need to get in touch with me at the moment because obviously uh, we can't uh, meet up. Yeah, see you in person. And Pat was just asking you just a bit more information about the markers, please. What type of markers are you using to colour in the stickers? They're uh, just your standard permanent marker, mm -hmm. so uh, not a whiteboard marker or uh, a water-based marker. They are permanent ink, so it is a good idea to have something underneath uh, your sticker. I mean, they won't go through the sticker sheet, but if you're using them uh, otherwise for normal colouring, yes, you need something under them. But that's the way, uh, because they're the permanent alcohol markers, they don't um, rub off mm -hmm. the shiny yeah. holographic sticker. Yeah. And do they take a long to dry? No, really quick. Oh, okay. Really quick. Yeah. There's nothing so worse good. when you think it's dry and then it's not. <laughs> yeah, they're not. And you end up with it all over your hands. Excellent. Now, so. Astrid said, please, please, please do the star card class. So you <laughs> might have dobbed yourself in for something there, Kerry. <laughs> yes, I might have dobbed myself in. <laughs> I think it you may have. It might have to be an advanced class and <laughs> a bit Excellent. more time. And, um, and Helen says, yes, you have really fun classes, so that's great to get that feedback. Thanks, Helen. <laughs> that's Excellent. Now, is there anything really else you'd like it. to share with our crafters today, Kerry? No, I think that's about it. Um, really been a really great, Michelle, and I really appreciate uh, being able to come in and do something at this time of the year. We are really missing being able to get out there and meet everyone at Sandown, but uh, what a great event it's been. Yeah, it certainly doesn't feel like October without – dragging ourselves out to the southeast of Melbourne, does it? But like you said, this is a way that we've been able to connect with crafters much further afield. That's right, absolutely. And uh, and I feel for you with the marathon and hope you're all holding up last day. <laughs> yeah, we're doing okay. And I have had great support from my co-hosts and, of course, from our back office team as well, with all, of course, yeah. with our COVID safe plans in place. <laughs> absolutely. Excellent. So it where can like we find you on the World smoothly. Wide Web, Kerry? Sorry. I was talking over you then. So, where can we find you on the World Wide Web? We're at uh, apaperexperience.com.au. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then, yeah, the website's there and you just click on, the, click on the card classes or workshop kits, I think, and they're all listed there for everyone to find. That's right. Under kits and cards. Cards and kits. Cards and kits. You'll find them. Excellent. Fantastic. Well, Kerry, thank you so much for joining us today with P2P Crafts Online. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. Bye.
Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed that lovely fun card class. I think it is really nice just to see someone put those bits together. And I'm sure we've all got some holographic stickers. Or like we said, get onto a paper experience and grab one of those card kits. And it really is a fun way to just get a few cards ticked over. Or of course, sharing it with the kids or the grandkids when we get to see them again as well. Because it is such a fun way to just colour them with the markers, add that bit of interest to it and really make them individual as well. And of course, when you get a kit, you don't need to use all of it so if you decide not to use the stickers and want to use your own stamp sets that is fine too so thank you so much for joining us all here today as peter p craft online brings a craft a paper experience with kerry like we said continue to just show your support visit the paper experience website leave any comments or any questions that you've got give us a love and of course hearts and a like and share us with your crafty friends and we really do thank you for joining us today so this is michelle signing off we hope you have a crafty day